Hey everybody, um, we are going to be talking about the perfect competition graph or the purely competitive graph. We're going to be looking at the efficiencies and also the profit maximizing output. You want to feel comfortable in being able to draw these and recognize where these different efficiencies and output um, is located on the graph. So the first thing to recognize here is that, especially for an FRQ, you are expected to know that for a perfectly competitive firm that you need to have two graphs in order to be able to clearly represent what is going on. Um, the perfectly competitive firm is known as a price taker, meaning that it takes the price from the industry. And so what you see here is our standard supply and demand graph. Um, you have your price and your quantity. And with that, the market is determining the price of what the product is that's being sold at. We could use, for example, broccoli because that's an agricultural product. We don't have a brand name associated with it. And so with that, we have a price here of P1. The dotted line that you see going across is a way to say that the firm is a price taker. And so what you're showing here is that it is getting the price from the industry, and that is how the firm decides it. The best way to represent your demand curve, and one that I expect to see on any FRQ, or it will be marked down for not being um, labeled completely right, is to have Mr. Dark represented along that um, curve. So you have marginal revenue equals demand equals average revenue equals the price. You have your marginal cost curve that looks the same, and then you also have your ATC curve. They have the AC, but again, um, it best for me would be labeled ATC. Um, and with that then, you're able to look and see how the different cost curves and the demand curve interact with one another in order to determine the efficiencies and the um, profit maximizing output. And so that's what we're going to go over here are the different efficiencies and the profit maximizing output. The formulas are key. You need to have these memorized in order to be able to find out what they are and use them on the graph. So the first one that we're looking at is the profit maximizing output. The formula for that one is MR equals MC. And in this case here, you have your MR curve, which is your demand curve. You have your marginal cost curve. And where those two intersect is giving you this profit maximizing output. Another um, efficiency that we have talked about is allocative efficiency, producing that right mix of goods. Um, we've talked about it before with like marginal benefit equals marginal cost, and we've also had it with supply equals demand. Well, another formula that we're going to use here for allocative efficiency is price equals marginal cost. And so here is your price, and here is your marginal cost. And it happens to be in the same spot that the um, first one was for MR equals MC, which you will always have for the perfectly competitive firm because they produce where MR equals MC and MR is the same thing as price, and so therefore price equals marginal cost. And so the takeaway from that is that a perfectly competitive firm is always allocatively efficient. The next one that we have is productive efficiency, and that's producing goods as cheaply as possible. And so for that one, we're looking at our marginal cost curve and where it intersects the ATC curve, or minimum ATC. It happens to be at the same spot here. This is the one that, that's not always the case. And so um, what you want to just see is where is that intersection and is that happening in the graph. Um, one thing we'll learn is that not always does a perfectly competitive firm um, have their output at the productively efficient amount. And then the last one is the break even. And again, when we break even, another way of saying that would be total revenue equals total cost. But we don't have our um, total revenue and total cost curves on this graph. And so the formula that we can use for that is price equals ATC. And so with that one here, we have our price and we have our ATC. And again, we have it at this spot here where we're looking at the break even. Well, this is one like productive efficiency where it doesn't always happen for a perfectly competitive firm, but in the long run, that situation does arise. So let's take a look here at this graph where we don't have them all intersecting at the same point, where we can look and see exactly what is going on. When we're talking about our profit maximizing output, we're looking here at where um, 
for profit maximizing output, MR equals MC. Now, we all know that this is not properly labeled right. So the first thing that I would be doing is I would be moving Mr. Darp over here to um, right along where that price curve is because the marginal revenue equals the demand equals the average revenue. And that's what we're showing there by looking um, and labeling it in this way. So the first one that we want here is profit maximizing output. The formula for profit maximizing output is where MR equals MC, and that's where you see that dot already there. You draw a line down, and that gives you the quantity, the price, they're a price taker, and so that is already given. Allocative efficiency, if you remember that formula, the formula is price equals marginal cost. Well, for a perfectly competitive firm, they are always... Um, allocatively efficient. And so quite honestly, that green dot that we saw before is something that you can use again in order to be able to represent that. Now productive efficiency. That's where we are producing goods as cheaply as possible. And so for that one, we're looking here where um, marginal cost equals the average total cost. And so if I am taking that dot, I am putting it right here where those two intersect and that is going to give me the productively efficient amount. So one more time in going through our formulas, you've got to somehow or another remember these. For the profit maximizing output, we're looking here at where MR equals MC. For the allocatively efficient, this one here, we're looking at where price equals marginal cost. For the productively efficient, this is where we're looking at marginal cost equals the average total cost. Do whatever you need to do in order to memorize these formulas because they're not going to go away and you're just going to use them on graph after graph.